that's not normal for jean pockets. And these are really, really cool. It is denim, but it's really, really soft. Because you can see on the inside here, it's almost like a knit. Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. And today, I think we actually have a really, really interesting combination of the two because I have a pair of jeans from Balma, the uh, Parisian luxury brand. But Balma is super, super known for a certain style of jeans, which you can probably see right here. They are moto jeans, kind of at the knee area, they'll have this kind of ribbing like this. But this one is also like a pair of sweatpants with an elasticated waist. What the heck is this? I don't even understand what's going on no more. It's a weirdo pair of pants. I'll just say that right now. And I don't know, some of you may think it's the most hideous thing you've ever seen, but I like hideous things, you know? I'm all about it. Give me the weirdest shit you can find and I'll, I'll wear it all day long. So I'm super excited to check out all the details of this piece. Let's do it. But first, I've looked into it and a very, very small percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. It's completely free. You just press that button and you will not regret it. Thank you so much. So there they are. And it's actually kind of hard to tell from the silhouette, at least compared to most. But this is very much a pair of skinny jeans. Um, it has a bit of a widening there, but that's because of the elastication of the waist. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's not what you'd expect, but they are skinny once you put them on. But before we get to any of that, let's take a look at those retail tags that come with this piece. So the first thing I've got here is this tag, and this shows that it came from Selfridges, which is an awesome, awesome British luxury clothing store. They have some great deals, I'll tell you that right now, because the thing is, in Europe, they don't have nearly as many taxes on these things, because all this stuff is made in Europe. So when it comes to the U.S., if it's being sold in the U.S., it's usually actually quite a bit more expensive. So if you can get it from these British or other European sites, you're probably going to get much better prices. That's a little secret. But that's just always a good sign to have a kind of tag from a legit retailer, but more important, are the actual Balma tags, because every single piece will have these. So the first thing here, this is like a booklet here, and it's just a nice matte white cardstock, and just printed in there, it's not embossed or anything, you've got that Balma logo print. So you can see it's kind of very old school, like outlined letters, and very small underneath in all caps, you've got Paris as well. This side here, as you can see, is actually a little bit like corrugated. I think you can probably see that from there. Just a little interesting thing to know. And the back is totally blank. When we open it up, it's actually like a trifold here. So this first page here is in French, but the middle one is in English. And it's talking about the kind of distressed handmade treatment. You know, pretty much all luxury pieces have some sort of explanation like this where it's like, Hey, it is what it is. It's going to be messed up. Don't complain to us because it's supposed to be that way. The final page here is blank. And we also have a just much thinner piece of paper here. And this has the sticker on it. So we've got a model number there, which you could look up and make sure the right thing comes up. That's always a good thing to do. If some sketchy like Chinese fake sites come up, that's a bad sign. Uh, we've got our colorway sky blue. It is a nice light blue, as you can see. Uh, tag size extra small and we'll definitely talk more about that later because that was a gamble on my part and then the model name Calicon Jersey denim ohm men's pants all right and that's that and these are all attached with this like glossy black string which goes right up to this black safety pin loops right through the brand tag that's at the back of the waist there and speaking of which let's take a look at that brand tag now so this tag is actually really, really small, quite skinny, not too long either, but it is a black embroidered tag, and in silver there, you've got the Balma Paris logo. You can see a little bit of kind of waviness of each stitch in there, and some of the letters are connected, the A to the L. I think the L may even connect to the M, 
pretty much everything is connected, I think, except for the B and the N at both ends. So that's kind of interesting. And the Paris is really just kind of squeezed in there at the bottom. And these are stitched down on both sides with a vertical black stitches, right? And if we turn that inside out, we can see the kind of inverse colors there, but it's very clean on the back. You can see the back side of that lettering coming through. Next, let's take a look at the care tags that are inside these pants. So these would be on your left side if you were wearing the pants, and you can see they're stitched in horizontally with these black stitches right into that side seam there. And you can see the back side of that really, really nice and clean. So the first thing we've got here is a tiny loop embroider tag in these same colors as that brand tag at the back of the waist, and that has the size in it with XS for extra small, and the back of that guy is blank. And the care tags themselves are a really, really thick, glossy kind of plastic, very soft and smooth as well. And then the print on them is kind of like a purpley gray almost. It's a very interesting color. So in all caps, you've got where it was made. So this is made in Italy. And it does look like the M is actually a little bit bigger, as is the I in Italy, than the rest of the letters. So that's kind of interesting. Then we get the body fabrication, 99% cotton, 1% elastane, and the pocket lining, which is a similar fabrication there. And that one is a loop tag. And on the other side of the fold, we've got five washing symbols, washing instructions, which are super simple, and our model number, which very importantly matches the model number, which was on that retail tag. So those two things matching is also very, very important. And that's all you get. They're pretty simple and straightforward care tags, but all the important info is there. Now let's take a look at the unique elements of these pants. And I don't know, let's start at the waist here. Let's start with that elasticated band and the kind of drawstrings and stuff like that. So as you can see, we do have this elasticated waist. It's got a good amount of stretch to it. And it's got these dual kind of copper colored stitches going all the way through. And those are super, super clean stitches. And we can also see the beginning of our elements of distressing, which happens throughout the pants. For the drawstrings, you have these kind of like grommets here, which are gold, real metal, same thing with these kind of stoppers here. And there's no branding on them or anything, but they're very, very heavy, very solid metal. The drawstrings themselves are kind of a navy blue woven kind of shoelace type of thing. And then they cinch up to these, again, really big and heavy guys here. And these are really cool because they have a little bit of kind of like engraving around the end there. I don't know, I just think they're, they're very nice. But again, no branding on them. These pockets actually have a really, really interesting and unique shape. The way it kind of comes in right here, that's not normal for jean pockets. In here, you can see they're kind of like lined in a darker blue here before they get into the main part there of a normal kind of pocket lining. But really nice kind of roomy pockets, which is always important to me. You know, I got to put my wallet in there, my phone, got to have all my things. As we move down the pants, we get a bit more distressing here, almost like scratch marks or something. So that's under both pockets, actually. And then even further down on one side, you have a bit more of your classic kind of holes and rips and such. And then we get to the moto elements at the knees. I love the shape of that. You've got a kind of arc here, then a more like diagonal going over here before it straightens out. And these are really, really cool. They have a good amount of stretch to them from that ribbing. And actually, each one of those ribs is stitched in that copper color. Just really, really cool details there. And then you've got two more panels here with these kind of arcs at the knee right there with a straight line going through them. And then the jeans just continue to taper until we get to the bottom where we do actually have sort of side zippers that you can open up here. So these are also gold and they are real metal. The ends of the zippers are really nice and solid. I love the shape of those. They're just really kind of like clangy and heavy. I don't know, I'm about it. And actually on the back side of that, you get Balma Paris embossed onto those. So a really, really nice touch there. Branding like real Balma zippers. A lot of fakes won't go that far to put those in. They'll just have generic zippers on there. 
And if we look to the back of these jeans, they're kept a bit more simple than the front. So you have dual pockets on the back here, which is always nice to have, right? And as you follow them down, the back side of those kind of like moto, the arcs, you just get that straight line across the back of the knee. And then again, they just taper right down to the end there. And I would really, really like to just speak about the fabrication here because it's not your typical denim material. It is denim, but it's really, really soft and thin, and it has much more stretch to it than your normal denim. I'm such a huge fan. It's also quite thin as well, and it just kind of flows. It breathes really well. And I also want to show you the inside of this because you can see on the inside here, it's almost like a knit. It's crazy, crazy soft. Like if every pair of jeans felt like this, I would not be complaining. It's so nice, you guys, oh my God. So now that we have checked all of that out, let's try these babies on to see how they feel and see how they fit. Cause yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So I've already started talking about the feel of these. So let's keep going from there. As I said, these are so, so, so soft. Like, I don't even know. They almost feel more like a pair of like sweatpants or joggers really more like it than a pair of jeans. They're, they are that soft. And it's really the thinness and the amount of stretch that gives it that. I would say they're somewhat far off from what you would expect from jeans. So if you just are going out looking for a pair of jeans that feels like a pair of jeans maybe these aren't for you but to me you know they look like jeans but they feel better than jeans so that's like a perfect situation in my opinion the fit is where it gets really interesting because as you saw this is tagged a size extra small and it has an elasticated waist so i went into this very very unsure of how the fit would work out and I think the reason I was able to get these for so cheap is because everyone was afraid to buy them. Because first of all, they're tagged in extra small, and on the site, they had a waist measurement for these listed. And that waist measurement was listed as 24 inches, which would basically fit like nobody, <laughs> essentially. So I think everyone was like, yeah, I'm not gonna touch those, they're way too small for me. But I was like, that must be the size of the elasticated waist when it's not on, when it's just sitting flat. So I figured once you stretch out that elastic waist, as long as there's enough stretch to it, it might actually fit me. I'm usually a size 30. So I took the chance. I grabbed them and guess what? They fit perfectly. Once that waist is stretched out and you're actually wearing them, it fits like a perfect size 30. So that's how I got a steal on some really, really expensive pants. As for the style of them, the Balmain Moto jeans, um, some could say they're played out. I would understand that. I wouldn't wear these all the time. I wouldn't wear them with every look, but whipping them out every now and again, yeah, yeah, I can totally see them still working even in 2021. So I'm super psyched on this purchase. So that is what a real pair of Balma Moto jeans looks like. So sick, right? Take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.